Emila was mine, I believed this to be truer than the sun in the sky. We came into this world together, beside each other at the same time on different beds. Her birthmarks reflected mine, and it was a problem for us for a while but I had changed. I wasn't away from her anymore. She pulled herself close to me, and smooched me on the cheek. I smiled at her, and grasped the courage to utter the words. I will get you that ring. My heart shattered each time I tried to convince her otherwise, as she pushed back the offer again and again. Then here I was, in the middle of the night before my promised day, and I had nothing to show for it. The idea of petty theft filled my heart as I deliberated what to do. On one hand, my dream was beyond the reach of my clean hands but for my dirty hands, it was different. I knew that the ring was one of the most expensive jewelry pieces but they could do without it. I walked casually away from the store, and took a darker route to the back. Looking in, I saw the door open up. It was the owner's wife, she looked around carefully then allowed her little girl to run in to drop a letter on the counter, then she ran back to hug her mummy, both of them giggling. There it was, my excuse. I turned, and went home for a good night's rest. The next day, I bought her favorite drink, and went to our meeting place, I went incredibly early, and waited for her to arrive, and she did but she turned around and left. I guessed she had seen the drink from afar, and was not in the mood for my excuses. Who could blame her? She was still trying to be my angel, 